Hello Intune friends, in this uh, short video we're going to show something really cool. You know I'm a big fan of remediation script and we're going to show how you can run that on uh, command when you want to run it. So just quickly what is remediation script? So remediation script is you have two script, one detection script who first look for a state and if it the script exit with one then it pick that up as a problem and then run a second script which is the remediation script. So we're going to speak a bit more exactly what it is but just quickly wanted to show that in this video. So before remediation script we found on the reports and then we had to go to endpoint analytics but it seems to be gone now so it's not where we find them. They are now under devices and they have renamed it to remediation there. But all the scripts we have done in the previous videos, they are still there, just a new location. So I was thinking we could just create a new one quickly. I'm not going to go through all what's in it. And then we're going to deploy that to a machine. So let's say not the real case, real world scenario maybe could be, is that we have this virtual client here. And for some reason, we want to remove 7-zip. It could be anything, but my script's going to remove 7-zip since this machine have it. So we create a script package that's in remediation. If you have missed what remediation script is, look my other videos. It's really cool. So let's say remove... Uh, 7-zip. For some reason we want to remove it. It could be another software. Removing any 7-zip installations. Then we go next. So here is the core of remediation script. First we have the detection script and I've already written that one. In some other videos I go through how you write your own. So we just want to detect. Is, is there something we have to do? So Basically what we do, we use winget, I don't know why I can't uh, use this uh, slider here on the side, and look if the app is there. If it can't find the app, then it exit with zero, then it stops there, all is fine. But if it doesn't, if it do find the app, find the app, then it will exit with one. And what does exit with one means? Well, it means it's going to run the second script and the second script is going to remove the 7-zip. So first we try to detect is 7-zip there. Yes, we found it, exit with one, then run this script to delete it. So the script to delete it is this, the other script here. And I'm going to put this in the uh, description of this video, not so useful. So this one is going to Oh, really annoying. I can't scroll there on the right side. It's going to run Winget to uninstall the GPN app ID, which I set higher up, which is 7zip.7zip. Uh, .7 .7zip. So it's just going to uninstall it. So for this script, do we want to run as the logged in user? Uh, no, we, we don't want. Uh, do we want to enforce the script check signature? No, we don't want that either. We haven't signed the script. Do we want to run a 64-bit? Sure, let's do that. So then we go next. We don't use any scoop tags. And here, normally we assign to a group to the one who should have this. But uh, we want this on demand. So we're not going to deploy this to anything. So it's not assigned. So if we look here at our scripts, it's going to say uh, not deployed here. So it's not deployed. But if we look at one, uh, the one who um, update GIMP to the latest version and then do properties, that's another script we have done. Here you see that it's run on a schedule. It run hour, every hour it runs. But again, our script, remediation, remove 7-zip, is not deployed. So it's never going to run unless we run it. So again, I go here to my virtual machine. You see it has 7-zip uh, installed. We should be able to see it if we go to Explorer. Let's right click on this one and then uh, show more options. You see we have the 7-zip uh, shell extension here so we can see extra. So it's definitely installed on this one. Remember 337 and it ends with 337 also this machine name. So how do we run this remove 7-zip? And here comes the fun part. Well, we go to devices, all devices. We search for our device. I don't have so many, so I don't have to search. It's this one here who's online right now. So I'm going to click on this one. 
And here you have all the delete, wipe, don't do it, and the sync that you can do. But the, uh, at the right here, we have three dots. And at the bottom, we have run remediation preview. And th there, here comes the sad part, however. So let's run this. Well, we will have to uh, select what we want to run. This is in preview. So if you're looking at this in July 2023 or in a few months after, it's going to work. If you watch this video after, it's possible that it has become general, generally available and they're going to take money for this and you have, a, have to have an extra license. I think this one is so useful that it could be worth it. So. If this is blocked for you, at least you can see in the video what you can do if you had the license and then go to your management to request this. So very useful. So here are all my remediation scripts. And you remember, we wanted to remove 7-zip. So, oh, I see, I put capital E there. That's fine, still gonna run. So let's run this remediation. I hit run. Then I already run this previously so this is not the one you can see on the hour I'm 453 so it's not exactly now but it's going to show up here as uh, completed when it is completed and hopefully we will have uh, seven zip removed on our device again I don't think that's the scenario, but it gives an idea what you can do maybe you want to run a system file checker remove uh, Perch uh, cache or something, something you can give to your uh, desktop support team so they can run it uh, centrally when they need to do some uh, clear cache or the like. Uh, I'll go normally, it should have. No, pending, it changed this one. Well, it changed locate device pending also. So this one have updated to, to, the, uh, to now, so it's pending. So it's probably on its way. So we can go to the device. We can see if 7-zip is still there. Actually, I don't see it. So I think it's already run. Let me see. Maybe it's 7. Yep, 7-zip seven is gone. So if I right click on this file again, show more option. Yep, 7. So you see, very quick, very powerful uh, feature. So we're actually finished. I'm just going to go to the location where the script is, that should be C Windows. Uh, I think I saw it there, IME cache. So normally the script should have been here. Maybe it's gone already, nope. And the latest one is this one. So I'll give myself permission. So don't worry, it have renamed the name. They always do that. They are always called detect and remediate under this one. So it's still our script. So if we look here, open with notepad, so I can go through the script a bit better. Detection. So what it does is that it run uh, winget and list with the ID of 7zip and look if it's already there. If it says it's not installed, then it exit. If it doesn't find, well, if it doesn't say this, that means it is installed, then it exit with one. And if it exit with one, it's going to run the second script, which is the remediate script. So if we open that, I'll open in Notepad++ instead. Uh, then it's going to run this and it's going to run winget uninstall and it's going to uninstall which ID? Well, 7-zip and do it silently. So that works perfect. So we are good. That's what I wanted to show. So uh, the whole point, I leave this virtual machine is well it says running pending let, uh, let me go back and just see i was in the middle of a sentence uh, it says complete so it is a success so you don't have to remote into the machine to verify you can see it from here so very powerful you create your remediation script under device uh, remediation now you create them and uh, do whatever you want to do then you go back to devices well i were right all devices you choose which one, uh, which um, device you want to run it on. Let's say one I haven't already run. This one is offline, so it's not going to work. But uh, and then you click on the three dots, run remediation. Again, it's going to disappear. You select all the things you want to run. Oh, I thought you could run multiple. Well, you have to run them one by one. Strange that it's a checkbox. Uh, it should have been uh, radio button. 
Maybe in the future they'll let you run more, but well, you just run one, hit run remediation, then you go back and if you need to run multiple. So extremely powerful. This uh, I'm eager to use a lot. I see a lot of use case for this, especially for the help desk team. So thank you very much. Have a great day. See you in another video.